What's up, everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Jesse Parker. What's up? We are at Full Grip Games. We're going to be showing off some new Sword and Shield format decks for you all today on my side of the table. I have got Picaram, one of the most hyped decks out of Sword and Shield format. And, uh, you know, it's been one of the best decks in format before. Oh, yeah. And I'm thinking that this is going to be its kind of uh, return to greatness, I guess, uh, with the new cards available to it in Sword and Shield. Right. And Jesse, what do you got on your side? I have got the Zacian uh, ADP deck, so it's going to be using, um, as you all know, the Arce Arceus Dialgapalkia Tag Team GX. Going to be trying to get off that Altered Creation GX to take an extra prize off knockouts and do an extra 30 damage, which in turn lets uh, Zacian use um, its uh, Brave Blade attack, I believe it's called. Yeah, Brave yep. Blade. Does 230 damage uh, with the ADP boost, does 260. Then you can't use it next turn, um, uh, but you have switches to get around that. Um, so that's going to be able to take a one shot on a Picaram, even with the resistance. For sure. Doing exactly 240. Its ability also lets me uh, potentially attach more energies if I go first and uh, just see more cards in my first turn since I won't be able to play supporters if I do go first. Absolutely. So, yeah. so I really, really do. Strong. There's like a couple of tag calls in the deck, and I really like the tag calls in there for just being able to go and search out your. Arceus Dagopalkia on the first turn of the game. That's and really Guzmahala. all you want to do. Yeah. And Guzmahala. All you really want to do is get a, uh, you know, get yourself an energy onto your ADP on the first turn. And I think the reason this deck is going to work so is will probably work well is because of the new metal saucer, um, that is basically just like a metal patch. Attach a metal energy from your discard to one of your metal Pokemon. So that's definitely going to help charge it up if my ADP goes down after an alter creation. So that's going to help a lot. For sure. Now, do you want heads or tails? I'll take heads. heads I'll go first. first. Sounds good. <clears throat> Let's see what we got cooking here. All right. Six. Ooh, we have started. Oh, no. One of our Nadenes. Hate to see it. All right. Good luck, Jesse. All right, you as well. Starting the Zacian here, not bad. Uh, drop turn. Okay, so got some stuff in here. Um, I think it's better to attach the Aurora Energy. Um, the Aurora Energy is basically a Rainbow Energy. When you play it, you have to discard a card from your hand. Yep. Um, because I want the metals in my discard pile. That'd be better. So I'm going to actually Quick Ball, discard a metal i actually want to be attaching to the adp turn one so maybe i'll just not attach any energies and try to get one on an adp um how many metals does this play exactly 10. 10 okay cool so i'm going to just grab a dedene let's see oh there we are um yes so grab that and yeah it's gonna be All right, just digging for the turn one ADP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have three energies in my hand, so I am going to discard them because I want to get that turn one attachment. Um, also, Z Zacian's uh, ability could potentially charge energies to himself, so I don't. I definitely don't want to attach to right. Zacian. So. For sure, because you're going to end your turn by doing that. Yeah, so I'm going to Metal Saucer. Flying, flying, metal flying, flying pan. pan. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then uh, just go ahead and do a change. Sure. Okay. Looking for an ADP. ADP. All right. So we got the ADP, but we do not have the energy. Ah. Uh, so that. that's okay. All right. So tag call. Or why can't there be a tag team energy? That'd be good. <laughs> tag Come team on. energy. Uh, it's both metal and water type. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'd be down for that. If only. So I'll just grab, just grab two ADPs, just, but I'm just going to bench one of them. Sounds good. I've got a little bit of a rough grindy opening hand Oof. as well. Um, it's all good. So I'm going to bench that. Thus is the Pokemon bench trading card that. game. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, I don't see a reason not to just play both these metal saucers. For sure. <laughs> you know? Hey, sometimes you take the, <laughs> no. the path a little less traveled. And, and are you going to use it on your bench one? Can you do it to any Pokemon? I mean, no, I'm saying are you going to use your benched uh, Intrepid Sword? Oh, um, 
probably. Oh yeah, that's right. You have to choose which yeah. one. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll probably just do the bench one. Uh, yeah. So I'll intrepid sword. Yep. So. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. I'll keep these. There you go. <laughs> That's really good. Wow. No supporters That's either. Right. That's gnarly. Okay. So let's see what we got here. I've got a weird hand with Volkner. I could um I could just use Volkner in this turn and get myself um yeah, maybe like a I mean my Dedenne is just looking like it's probably gonna get knocked out. Uh, I don't really have a lot of faith that this is going to be a turn one full blitz kind of hand. Yeah. It's just it's just not. Like, you're looking at it, yeah, no. So I think we are going to go in with Volkner here. You probably get those a lot more consistently now with quick ball, yeah. You do. Yeah. I mean, a lot more. But I did start a Dedenne, so there's yeah. less Dedenne in my deck mm -hmm. already. So I think we're just going to set ourselves up for a strong turn two. So off of the Volkner, I'm going to get a Lightning Energy and... Probably just go for the stadium nav. Yeah, it's in the deck, which it is. And we're just gonna try to get ourselves up and rolling this way. So we've got the quick ball. We can play to get rid of the lightning energy. It's fine. Put that to the discard pile and go get ourselves our Pika Rom. And then just kind of like a just a controlled turn one for me. You've got Azashin. Azashin's not going to be knocking out my Pikaram, but right. also can definitely knock out the Dene yes. while you attach <laughs> manually to the Arceus, right, right, right? Oh, yeah. So, you're like, you're still, you know, cooking over there. Yes. And putting a lot of pressure on. So, we're going to put the Pikaram onto the bench. Um, go ahead and attach that, and then I'm just going to pass to you. Yep. Yep. Wow. Okay, so... Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to play a quick ball, discard AP. Sure. Go for a. Is there even any other Pokemon I want? Actually. Just Jirachi, probably. I actually already Jirachi. I'm going to get a. Fe oh, boy! <laughs> I'm going to bring that Pikaram up. Ooh, man. It's not going to one shot him, but I think it might be good just to swing into him. I think <laughs> it. Yeah, the saucy Fion getting in there. Uh, I really like Fionn in yeah, I really do the too. new Sword and Shield format. I think that Fionn is going to be an all-star in a lot of decks. Um, bench Jirachi. Yep. Um, and then I will Whirlpool Suction. Yep. On my deck. And I do have a Pokemon Catcher, but I guess I won't need to rely on that coin flip. Um, nope. Magnolia or a Research. I played the video game, so I'm just, I call her Magnolia. Yeah. Know. It's all good. I mean, that is technically correct. Yeah. Yep. Sure. I mean, it's got Magnolia written on the card. Yes. Just kind of off to the side. Um, so I will manually attach to ADP. Yep. And then I will play a frying pan here. And then I will switch. Sounds good. Wow. So there you go. Crazy. Cooking. <laughs> wow. And then I'll Brave Blade for 210. Now I yep. can't use Brave Blade next turn, so I will need to find a switching effect and another attacker. Yep. So maybe it was better to hit the Dedenne, but I don't know. I kind of like putting some pressure onto the peak room. It's fair. All right. We're going to go Stadium Nav and see what we can do. I can hear everybody yelling, Andrew, why don't you play Guzma Hala? Yeah, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> You're not a fan of that engine in the peak round deck? No, no, especially not now, where yeah. you're going to... Um, well, you have more ways to get the Coco out now, so it doesn't make, it really do. make sense anymore. Right. I could see it before, where like it was kind of like... You couldn't... It wasn't really reliable to get a turn a turn one full blitz, but... Um, right. Or a turn two full blitz. Okay, so let's see what we got going on here. I've got the energy... Oh, my goodness. Okay, we're going to go here. Electro power... Um, custom catcher for well, hmm? yeah, that's fine. Okay. Custom catcher for one, quick ball. Oh, there you go. And we will get ourselves. Oh, geez, it's gonna be <laughs> right you and a little right you, I think. But uh, also, if you take three, I could force you to take two with Coco. Um, Potentially, also, I'm kind of going for a tight bolt knockout here. That's like what I actually prefer. So oh, I yeah. think I am going to go for a type of Coco V. 
Um, because yeah, I do want to go for tag. Wait, so yeah, 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 you've got effectively 250 hit points right now. Okay, I was making sure that wasn't 30 less from just EXs and GXs, but it's just 30 less in general. Right. Because that Coco technically would go through Choice Helmet, but not the Metal Frying Pan. Right. No, it is just in general it's so good. I mean, it even works against, uh, you know, it even works against, uh, well, what, like Malamar and stuff. Yeah. yeah insane. All right. So we're going to Professor's Research. Draw seven. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Yeah, mm -hmm. Natalie, I'm going to share, I'm going to share my um, baby Bliss F on list and that uh, on, um, Either the Discord or my Twitter, one or the other. Oh, cool. So, how many um, cards are in your? Um, I have four. Four. So actually, I do just have it here. We're gonna electro oh, power nice. again. So it's double electro power, um, and then I think already attached for turn. Um, he only has twenty or thirty hit points left, but like. I guess you could, you know, you could metal saucer to the Jirachi and no, hit me for ten. That doesn't even do it. All right, all right. You're gonna need <laughs> to alter creation GX. So like, I'm comfortable here. Um, I think just taking this knockout. So, um, yeah, we're just gonna tag bolt GX for knockout there. You aren't, you aren't ready for this next play. You're not ready, dude. Don't do me like that. Do not. No. <laughs> Oh my gosh. The Dedene. The sauce. I'm going to Cynthia Caitlin discard uh, Zacian. I forgot. Magnolia. Oh, I forgot. Draw three. Yes. He doesn't even need to tingly return. He can just <laughs> static shock. Yeah, no, I ain't tingly returning. No, you're going to save your GX. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and static shock for 50. Boom. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So. Uh, I guess thankfully the only solace that I have is that I well I've got a handful of reset stamps so we can do oh, that. Yes. And that also um, you played two electro power last time, right? I did. Okay, yeah, he did. We're good. I've got electro power. Yeah, because I had one in my opening hand. Yeah, yeah. So I ended up playing that. And uh, I've got lightning energy here. All I need to do is to Dene and find my Tapu Coco. You're good. So we're gonna get that. Uh, I think I'm just going to get, actually, Zara Aura into Denny at this point. And we need to find ourselves a quick ball. And I've not played a supporter yet, but we can. Tandem Shock for the knockout. Yeah, I don't know what you guys are talking Wait, about, but that was, been that, that was a knockout. He tag bolted. That's 260. Yeah. And with the metal frying pan, that puts me at 250. Right. Yeah. And this I don't, and this isn't metal type. It's not metal type. It's lightning yeah. type. Yeah, 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 we're totally fine. Yeah, there's no resistance. A, uh, and then he's a yes. lightning boy. He does not resist lightning. He resists grass. Yeah. 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 That's we're so weird. He resists totally grass. Good. Yeah. So, um, so yes. So previously the Zacian had hit me for two ten with resistance, and yes. then plus the fifty is like two sixty. So, so, yep, no confusion there. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got the Zara Aura on the bench, and then we're gonna Diddy change and yep. discard our hand and draw six, looking for a quick ball. Two, three, four. Oh gosh. Five, oh, how? How is this hand so bad? <laughs> oh my gosh. The horror. What in the world is this? Oh my gosh. That was there no Volkner in this hand? No nothing? Oh my gosh. All right. See it. Whatever. Okay, we're going to go here. Energy. Oh, I don't even have to. Uh, we're going to use. Spike draw. Uh, spike draw. We could draw two cards. It is that. Uh, I'm just gonna put it up onto the overhead here. Uh, and unfortunately, no, I don't have a translation for it. I love, right. I love sacking it's the fine. I got a, I got a, I got a spike draw for twenty. This Wait, I don't is... have a hand, right? Wait, where's my? Wait, where'd my hand go? What, what did I do with my hand? Did what? I just put it all in the discard? What did you do with your hand, bro? What did I do? Did with you my... have a hand? I did. What did I, I do stamped you. It? I stamped. Oh, you, you. stamped me. Yeah, draw yeah, some yeah. cards. Okay, okay, I get to draw three. All right. <laughs> All right, I'll take the energy switch. Spike draw. Yeah. Okay, spike through. Yeah, and then I drop through. Yep. All right, we're good. Um, was this let's play? Did one did any or? There's one did any. Yeah. Okay. All right. So. Hmm. <laughs> I think I'm going to. Hard retreat. Yeah. I think I'm in a fine spot for this game. So long as <laughs> just hit the part of, me, part of me wants to tingle time, but I don't think I'm gonna do it. Tingly return. <laughs> uh, 
So yeah, I'm gonna hard retreat because I have to switch my hand. Yeah. Stellar wish. Four, five, oh, good. Thank you. Yep. Um, I'm going to quick ball. Sure. Discard Malamana. Goes in my hand. Um, I do really like Tapu Koko V. Uh, just as like a free retreater, he's really cool too. Uh, we've seen that this hand, this you know, start has been a little bit clunky for me. Uh, though we did get the turn to you know two sixty, which is yeah. not bad. <laughs> right. Um, but uh, Jesse also got the turn to gust two thirty. <laughs> yes. <laughs> which is uh, pretty pretty. Yeah, that was pretty well. crazy. Like that's, not not. I don't think that's what this deck wants to do. But you know, when you have those cards in your hand, it's you just well. like that's just the way the hand played. You right. know. So you just like you just play it. Like sometimes. You don't always want to go in with like an early Raichu and a little Raichu, but sometimes like you don't open a Pikaram and your turn one energy attachment goes on to Raichu and then turn two, you're using Tandem Shock with instead right. of Full Blitz. So I'm going to play a switch. Yep. And then I don't think I'm going to bench this field. Sure. I see a reason to. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All righty. So well, both my reset stamps are down. I did have to. Professor's research those away, so I am kind of up a river without a paddle right now. Um, you know, with Jesse getting that Professor Magnolia there. Um, I'm gonna say this thing's probably not getting knocked out, so probably not. I mean, I'm gonna. I think I have to do this anyways. I think guaranteed. There is um, actually no way. And then I'll just, I guess, energy spinner within the deck a little bit. Sure. Metal. And then I will alter creation GX. Yep. Tough. Yeah. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay. So now, you know, your guys are hitting a lot more damage. Um, yes. I am very far behind as far as what I need to do. <clears throat> um, already GX'd. So, you know, at this point, all you need to do is take a knockout on a Dene or Tapu Koko V or anything like that, and you're good to go. So I have to just hope that you don't have the cards you need in order to knock me out. Um, and I think, you know, going in with Raichu and Alone Raichu is probably the safest play that I have. Yeah, right. So we're going to retreat. Uh, I will throw the Coco sure. and put energy from my discard pile on a type of Coco V as well as Zero Aura. And I think it's just going to be a tandem shock for 160. 160. Yep. Um, paralyzed. This way is paralyzed, I believe. And then I will draw. Okay, well, if I hit heads on this, I believe I win. Pokemon Catcher. Whoa. Tails. Tails. Oh boy. Okay, so um, I'm going to attach here. Sure. Play a switch. Go to Jirachi. Stellar Wish. Yep. Um, Magnolia. Seems good. I'm just calling it Magnolia. Yeah. That sounds way cooler than <laughs> Professor's Research. Professor's Research, man. It's Magnolia. You gotta get behind it. <laughs> All right, so then I will... So how many... So this plays how many Pokemon Catcher? Do you know? Um, it plays one Great Catcher, three Pokemon Catcher. Hmm, interesting. The Fion would be very good here. The Fion? Um, but you had discarded it, right? Well, you just promote Coco, I believe, right? Yeah, but Coco... Oh, uh, I guess, yeah, Coco would not get knocked out by the ADP, yeah. but it would get knocked out by Zacian if you yeah, were able no, to Metal Saucer it. might have it. been... It probably was correct to throw that down. Might as well. I don't think I need to bench space. See, I'm just going to switch again. Sure. And I'm going to Magnolia for yep. seven. And the prize trade just gets so good. Um, you know, after you use your GX, it's uh, really right, insane. Right. Um, uh, tag call. Sure. Um, 
Yep. Same thing, Caitlin and Guzma Hollow. Yes. <clears throat> Then I will just uh, ultimate ray for uh, 150. 180. GX. Or 180, yeah. Yep. I don't have any energies in my yeah, in my deck, so. Yikes. Mm -hmm. can, you, can you win? <laughs> yeah. Uh, no energies in deck. Do I mean, you have enough metal saucers to finish it off? No, I don't. I think I might just lose, but well, I'll just play it out and see what happens. <laughs> <Let's> just... <laughs> <Yeah>. I mean... <laughs> Um, all right. I was kind of banking on getting the great catcher off that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, because there is a great catcher in your deck that just would have ended yeah. the game, yeah. yeah. So that is really tough. Okay. Yeah. Um, I do have another lightning energy we're going to put on Tapu Coco V, and then I can just uh, switch. I guess I don't need to switch. I'm just going to retreat manually instead because okay. um, I have the ability of Thunderclap Zone. And we're just going to use Tapu Coco V's attack for 200 damage. Take okay. that knockout. And have one prize remaining. Um, How many metal saucers do you have left? I have none left. Pretty sure I have none. Uh, you could Static Shock if you have one energy left, but you do not, right? I do, but I don't think that's enough. Oh, um, yeah. I, you need a lot more. Enough, yeah. yeah. Hmm... Hmm. Let's think about this for a second. How many aura energy do I have in here? There are two aura energy in the deck. Mm. All right, let's just stellar wish. Sure. Hmm. Got the answer in there, Jesse? Uh, I have a way I think I could still win. Uh, let me just look at something. Sure. I'm going to... Grab that. Yeah. And then I'm going to uh, go back in with. Um, no, because I need a way to retreat. Never mind. Not going to go back in. Sure. I'm going to. I wish I could have stamped you too, but that's okay. Uh, attach here. The Dedede. Great catcher. Yeah. And you uh, can't tingly return. Correct. Yeah. Uh, discard that and that to bring up the Raichu. Sure. And then I'm going to Malawana just to retreat. <laughs> just to switch, yep. yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I, I don't have it. I was hoping maybe I could get a stamp and no, but then you could still retreat, yes. I think you got this. And then I'll just Static Shock for 50. Right. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, yeah, I kind of pit, I kind of punted that one, but uh, I definitely should. Good, if man. I had not Energy Spinnered, um, if I had not energy spinner that energy into my hand, I, I would have had the extra energy to so, charge up with um, the ADP. And then you would have won. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. So, oops. All right. Okay. On to the next one. It's uh, first game. That's your first game plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First right. game with the deck. Uh, so we're going to blame it on that. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you're learning. You're yeah, right. yeah, yeah. You're learning. No. This deck se seems like it has a lot of potential, though. It seems really crazy. The power level of the deck is just so high. Yeah. yeah. Right. And uh, I think that, you know, we saw there even just like starting swinging with the... Oh, wait. Did Dene did plus 30. Eight. So did you just win? Wait, what's 60 plus 180? 240. No. That's not enough. 240, you were short. I no, was, no, 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 you I were was... short. You were short. You were short. No, I'm only hitting... Wait, 80. Yeah, 80. 180 plus 80. Wait, 80 plus 180 is 260. Oh, you just... I won. Jesse won. <laughs> oh, let's go. <laughs> Oh, Jesse! Chat's got my back. Man. All right, all right. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, it does fifty win. plus thirty. So Unreal! I forgot 80 about that. Eighty plus one eighty is two sixty. All right, Jesse wins oh, game one. Oh, let's go, man! Uh, see, I knew okay. it all along. I knew it all along. Yeah. <laughs> man, that's oh, you hilarious. You did have it. You wow. did. Wow! I've never seen an ADP charge that's crazy. static shock. I took. I took. I took all six prizes with static shock. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that that is was the so most broken insane. Pokemon ever. You oh, guys thought it was gosh. just good for. You guys thought it was just good for drawing cards. 180 plus 80. Oh, oh yes. my gosh. I'm so <laughs> sick. All right. Thanks, Chad. We're getting, we're getting back in the paint. All right, yeah. game two. Game two. We got it. You don't really think about that, though. I mean, um, especially no. using the GX move that late, I kind of like, I almost like forgot I used it. I was thinking that I could stack shock, but. Yes. Well, this is what yeah. we have the chat for. So yes. thank you, Chad. Definitely for that. appreciate it. Yes, for sure. <laughs> and uh, all right, so it looks like I'm right, so going won. first. You won. Yes, yes, you did. 
What's hilarious is that it wasn't just a missed opportunity. You actually did it. You know? Yeah, right. You did. No, yeah, <laughs> I still did it. So technically, yeah. I'm not sure. What you, I think if that was an official match, if we had signed the slip, you, he, Andrew would have won. But yeah. since, uh, since I did technically do it, we're just going to say I won. Yeah, that's uh, that's awesome. Yeah. All right. So Jesse wins game one. I was mostly on going two. for the uh, stall strategy there. but. Uh, Shoo! Yeah, no. Crazy. All right. Um, I gotta. You're going first. Yeah, yeah. that that Thunder Mount, man. You got way too much use. That was that. great. I love that stadium. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, these are like, yeah, these are the turn one hands you don't want. Oh no. Playing Pikaram. This is why I have so many like radars and stuff in the deck, yeah. so that this doesn't happen. But no, that's cool, man. All right. Draw <clears> turn. <throat> Go ahead. Oh no. Yeah, it's one of those. <laughs> Well, this hand's done unless I hit something off the Stellar Nothing. Watch. Nothing. So, just watch. a bunch of Professor Researches. Oh, boy. Okay, so that's good. And we'll grab the... Hmm. I'll just go ahead and grab the... I think Guzmahal is correct. I don't want... I, I Heck, I could have got Professor's Research, but I think this is better. Sure, Guz Mahal, just to guarantee the turn to Altered Creation. Um, discard, stamp, and um, Pokemon Catcher. Yep. Um, actually, no, I'll discard uh, Metal Saucer. And I will grab a tool, a stadium, and a special energy. Seems good. I can't believe the Denny GX took the game there, bro. That's crazy, man. That was like, <laughs> that's so hype. <laughs> that's I'm so, I'm hype. so sick. <laughs> that's so hype. Oh my gosh. Um, okay, and then I will pull. I actually don't even know if I want to play the shrine down. Um, that I will Aurora, and I'll discard the. Um, I'll discard the frying pan to attach it. Sure. Um, and then I will s skateboard. Yep. Retreat. And then. You just want to protect your Draji. Yeah, and I have a switch in my hand, okay. so. Yeah, pass. All right, draw. That's a fine top deck for me. They've got an energy. I really just. I started off with two Professor Research in my hand, so like. That was oh, kind of yeah. the uh, I, I keep no for, energy. Honestly, I have to keep hearing reminders yeah. that you can't support or turn one. Like one, two, three, four. I gotta get that drilled into my head. Um, five, six, seven. So this hand is looking okay. I did have to just ditch two energy switch and a switch. Yeah, it's just like a really obnoxious hand to get rid of there, but it's fine. Uh, we have quick ball and a radar. So we can, and a reset stamp. I don't think that I would play the reset stamp. I think we're going for radar, away, radar. Yeah, I think we're gonna stadium now first though, and kind of see how that buffs out. And nice. it doesn't. All right, <laughs> lids. So going forward in this hand, I think we want a radar. We're gonna get ourselves a peek around and a Dedenne, because we need to draw more cards. So we're looking at that. And then I can use Quick Ball to get myself a Jirachi 2. Um, we get the second energy that I need into the discard pile. I do still have an energy switch in the deck. I have the Thunder Mountain in the deck too. Okay. Um, so my odds of hitting it are not great, but not, <laughs> it's fine. It could be worse. Um, certainly could be worse. Alkaline Bryce, you missed a Dene GX taking six prizes. That is. What You're you going to have to catch there. the VOD later. Oh, my great. gosh. That was brutal. Cool. Um, so I found that usually in this matchup, like, if you can alter creation before I full blitz, you win. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. just, that's that just it. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, that puts a lot of pressure on me because I chose to go first, and right. I opened a really bad hand. So, mm -hmm. like, that uh, definitely puts me on, like, the back foot now. I'm thinking that we are going to quick ball this other energy, though. It's a little bit greedy of me, but I'm going to 
just go for the Jirachi because I have the escape board in my hand. So if we do find a switch, which we're probably going to need in order to get the full blitz anyway, um, then that means that I'm at least going to be able to pivot into Jirachi. So we've got that going for us. Mm. So there's the Jirachi. And then we're going to lay down Pikaram, um, lay down a skateboard, and data change for six. Yep. And see what these next ones are. Four, five, six. Really bad, actually. So that's fine. We have to. Yeah, we have to go here and retreat. Mm. And then Stellar Wish, which is like not really where we want to be. Yeah. Two, three, four, five. I think, yes, we are just taking relatively slow routes, but yes, you're going to be able to alter creation, then I will full blitz, then yes. if you do something like Mallow and Lana, then I just like totally yeah, lose. Yeah, no, that's really bad. Um, for sure. So it's looking like we've got that, and then I'm probably just going to throw the Tapu Koko Prism Star now, sure. just because you do play like, you know, catchers. So if, you know, I don't really want to get that gusted out into the active, and then we're going to have to pass to you, okay. you know. And this is why I usually advocate for going first, is because getting, like, that was essentially, I played no cards on my first turn um, because my hand was so bad. So, you know, usually you don't get the turn one full blitz. Um, and this is kind of like, you know, I only really got to play one turn, even though I went first and have had my, this is my second turn. So usually you just want to get an energy onto Pikaram and then you're good to go. Yeah. You know, on, on turn Even two. Even just the energy is enough because the next turn you can kind of pop off. Right, for sure. Exactly. And we saw we had like a pretty decent turn. Um, even, you know, that turn, even though I did nothing turn one. But being set that far behind in a matchup that is so close and each turn matters is very brutal. Pokemon catcher. Yep. Feel that. I'm debating on whether to play the Shrine down. I don't know if I like it because then you only need two Electro Powers to right. Tag Bolt my guy. But then again, it does put him in range of an ADP knockout and it also could turn off his abilities with yep. well, Marsh Shadow, but I still don't think it's worth it. So I'm just going to Magnolia. Sure. It's <clears throat> a lot of Quick Balls. All right, Quick Ball away. Middle. <clears throat> grab that. Push him to the front because I'm probably going to grab that. Zashian. Sure. Um, spinner. Yep. Energy. Quick ball the energy for the Dene. Um, <clears throat> and then I'm going to uh, Metal Saucer. Yep. This is the scary thing. Test for turn and data change. Yeah, like you've already got two energy on your bench. Right, right. Zashin V. Like, I can't even just go all in for the Tag Bolt knockout on this uh, Arceus Dagapalkia because if I do that, then surely I will get punished by Zashin V, who only needs one energy to attach this next turn. So I think, like, you definitely just got the jump on me yeah. um, in this game. And I think it is as linear as just, now I can't win. I, yep. do think yeah. it, I do think it's it that. It seems really bad. It is. Now literally all I got to do is knock out a, um, a Pikaram and literally anything else. Yep. So um, I think, like, you know, my optimal turn would be, like, if I somehow... We're able to full blitz the Zashin for knockout, right, which right, is right. like, huh. <laughs> you know? I would need the most insane turn <laughs> to be able to pull that off. So I'm going to Stellar Wish while I'm out here. Um, okay. And I mean. Yeah, I double attached. My bad. Did you? Yeah. This okay. should be in the discard. I, I searched right. for it. That's I'm like, fine. Yeah, that yep. should be in the discard. I was yep. actually, good. I was about to say that. I was thinking, like, how did I get four energies from play? I did not yep. play two Metal Saucer. Very good. I, I was thinking that you yeah. did. I was like, oh. <laughs> no, no, no. My hand <laughs> wasn't right. that guess. Very good. All right. Well, that makes my that makes my situation. So, yeah, I'm not so a manual like... attachment away. I do need to get a Metal Saucer next turn if mm -hmm. you do knock out my ADP. But still, knocking out the ADP in the first place, 
seems like it's going to be kind of difficult. Right. Um, it is, um, for sure. Which is why you need to get that turn, turn one or turn two full blitz. Right, exactly. So, um, thinking about what my route is going to be, um, I could just attack with Zero Aura, which feels kind of bad, but, you know, I mean, it's a route. And, you know, then I can potentially dig out. I'm still Stellar Wishing, so I'm just, like, sitting here thinking, musing. Mm -hmm. um, I could Volkner and bring up the Dedenne and not get out. That feels like the worst play, the mm -hmm. worst line I can take. Um, I could... Yeah, because then you're putting yourself on, like, an 8 prize game. Yeah. Um, it's all bad. I think we do just do what we have to do in order to full blitz this turn and yeah, just say, like... Go for, like the... I don't know if you have any way of charging up a ride shoe, but like just chanting the paralyze and hoping that sticks might be a route to win. Probably not though. Um Alright, so I think Custom Catcher is fine. Um actually no, I had an electro power in there. We're gonna take the electro power instead. Okay. So I'm gonna go with that, and then we are going to play our Volkner, which is just Kind of rough, but it's fine. And then I've got enough energy left in the deck. We're going to get energy switch and energy. And kind of have to just full blitz into this thing. Got Picaram there. Attach return here. Energy switch to the Picaram. Mm -hmm. uh, retreats. And how many cards are in your hand? I have five cards. Five. Cool. And I have got a full blitz for 180 mm -hmm. and three energy. Coming down onto this benched Picaram. Okay. Draw. Yep. Saucer. Um. I will Cynthia Caitlin discard Jirachi. Put Magnolia in my hand and draw three. Sure. Um, I will then attach, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I think I'm going to attach to a water to ADP. Sure. No, I don't want to keep that in my hand, actually. Uh, bench, this is Ashian. Sure. Great catcher, discard these two to bring up um, the Dene. Sure. And then I will ultimate ray. Sure, for knockout. And this is like so bad. So this is basically the checkmate board. Yeah. Because yeah. there's you literally can knock nothing out. you can do. I can just come in and swing with Station. Yep. Um, it's pretty bad. Yep. Um, so you've taken three prizes there. Let's see. Thanks so much, Blaster, for that sub. Uh, I'm going to draw my card. All right, so I've got a Magnolia. Um, my route here <clears throat> is, okay. I mean, they're, okay. I'm gonna Stellar Wish, Let's see what we can find. Three. Tag Bowl would be five, pretty I, dirty. I know it would. Even then, it's still not really enough. Yeah. So you've got two cards in hand, right? Correct. And did you take rice? Oh, whoops, yeah. Like three of them? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> The Dene plus one. Yep. Yeah. So uh, I'm thinking we've got um, Quick Ball. We have to go for the Zapdos. Mm. And I think that my only way to win would be to find my Thunder Mountain off of this next play and reset Stampede to three and take this knockout. I cannot afford to take with the, the Zapdos? Yeah, with the Zapdos. Yeah. While manually attaching to my Pikaram. Hmm. So I would have to manually attach to the Pikaram to prepare for an incoming Tag Bolt eventually. Um, and, you know, I need you to have not have Stadium for a couple of turns. Yeah. While I potentially go Zapdos and stamp you. So I think that's what we're going for. I've got double electro power and we're gonna have Magnolia. Mm. 
to draw seven cards and see what you do. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay. So I don't have the Thunder Mountain or the Stamp in this hand, which oh, is a little bit yikes. Yeah, that's but it's cool. We're going to quick pull. And we've got... Huh. Um, I'm wondering, quick ball, I think I get the to Dene GX. Yeah. And then I've used two Electro Powers. Correct. Hmm. Use two Electro Powers. Three Electro Powers would be, yeah, enough to knock out a Dene. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. True. So. Uh, we are going to um, Great Catcher the Dedenne. Okay. Ten cards left in the deck. Cool. I'm going to use Electro Power. I don't think there's any. If I use all three <laughs> well, Electro Powers. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah, it is. Um, oh, well, it's fine. All right, I'm going to Custom Catch. Uh, yep, I'm going to Custom Catch for two. Um, all right, I'm gonna reset Stampede to three. Okay. And I'm gonna use another Electro Power. Data change. Oh. Ah. <laughs> no Thunder Mountain. Nah, I missed the Thunder Mountain. Yes. Oh no. <laughs> is it uh, in we'll there? See. Yes, it is. Oh my word. There are two cards dude. down there. Um. All right, I've attached for turn already. I have not used my GX. That is fine. Uh, I do not believe that I have a way out of this game. Um, I've already committed my energy attachment. I can't custom catch for one. I will lose. Um, I guess I just have to pass. Yikes. And I get, yeah, with all those full blitzes, custom. Pokemon catcher, fail. Fail. Switch. Should I have 150 on it? No, you did Electro Power. Did I? Yeah. No, I used sure? all four this turn. You did? Yeah. Oh, yeah. my bad. <laughs> I used no. all four this turn. Yeah. Um, sure. Hmm. Back off. Yeah. Hmm. I think, yeah, either way, we are in just like this. Doesn't really matter too much what I do. No. I mean, what, what you do. No, I, I'm out. I don't yeah. think that there's anything that I could <laughs> possibly do to save myself from this. Um, yeah, and that's what I was saying. This matchup's so linear. If you Ultra Creation GX before I full blitz, it's game over. Right. Lights out. There's nothing I can do to, uh, nothing I can do to catch up. Right. And uh, usually, though, on the other side of the... If I full blitz, usually speaking, before you full alter creation GX, I could usually win those games, right. except for in that crazy game that you had where you still got the turn two yeah. uh, attack and just, you know. That was that was crazy. You know, or went that whole strategy altogether. Um, right. Retreat. Yeah. Just use a Brave Blade for 230. Sure. Take two brands. And then I will promote Picaram. Oh, there's Thunder Mountain. What do you know? <laughs> Man. Um, <laughs> I know. Actually, yeah, it would have been cool. I could have taken out the Dedenne. Yeah, because I, I missed the gust. Yeah, and then I could have potentially that actually would have made it interesting. Yeah, I could have tag bolted for, you know, five prizes, um, theoretically. So, yeah. That, mm -hmm. uh, very unfortunate. I did have a route to win this game, which is crazy. Wow. Um, I do still have, you know, um, I guess I could at least save some face and like tag bolts the ADP. And you can't, and you could just retreat though. And yeah, then you got yep. the guaranteed knockout there. Right. So, yeah, that's yeah, going to be GG's. Like yeah. No, I've got tag bolt. I could take three prizes, but that's uh, going to be the end of the game. How much are you doing with tag bolt? Uh, only 200. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, take three right there. I take yeah. three on there. Yeah. yeah. 
That's Oof. gonna be it. Man. I know, man. That's crazy that you still had a route to win that game. I I know. That's the strength of the deck. Right. Yeah. No, we got off to a really bad start. That was that a game. really bad start. Yeah. yeah, for sure. You know, the turn one do absolutely nothing. I uh, haven't actually hit that too often with yeah. this deck because we're playing like representation of how the matchup. No, I think no, that it not. can go that way. It can go that it way. Go, yeah. It does. It's a blowout. I feel like it's usually a blowout either that, way. Do you think that generally it's, it's 50-50, like, 50 you I think? feel like. Yeah. yeah. It's uh it's really close. Yeah. Um you know just play just play one more time just for fun. Yeah, sure. Get a third game in. Yeah. And just see how the third game goes yeah. and uh I'd say I'm willing to say if, if that Deck just wins a third one. Yeah. Then, uh, then we'll uh, we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. Dan Cree with the hundred bits. Thank you, Dan Cree. We're gonna play a third game just to see how it would go, okay. um, because I don't think it is as landslidey in yeah. Zashian's favor. Though it can get out of hand very quickly. I'll say. Yeah. It definitely can. Right. So um, you know, as we saw there, you know, once you alter creation, if I really haven't put together a full blitz yet, it's definitely gonna be like game over. Right. Natalie mm -hmm. says Jesse beat him a third time. Oh, you got it, Natalie. <laughs> Say no more. Yeah, that's for sure. So we're going to put together a game three here. <laughs> just to, you know, I mean, because, wow, Andrew. <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, I mean, I don't know how else worse it could go other than just completely dead drawing. It's cool. Uh, that is the way. Yeah, this deck definitely seems to go sometimes. Enough. This isn't the deck. This isn't the deck I personally wanted to try first because I kind of knew off the bat this one would be really strong. Yeah. But like, definitely just playing a couple of games with it. Like now, I kind of now I kind of like definitely have to add Zacians to my buy list because <laughs> this card's just pretty insane. Right. <clears throat> there we go. All right, so getting into game three. Um, let's uh, let's just flip. See who goes first. Okay. Heads. All right. I'll go first. All right. And we'll see if we can uh, maybe have a little bit of a stronger showing this time. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay. I like this opening hand way better already. All right, looks good. And my theory, yeah, my theory about the matchup is, like I said, you full blitz before alter creation, Picaram should win. Yeah. Uh, if you alter creation before I have full blitz, I mean, it. you saw how convincing. Once you... If you can ultimate ray, oh, and that's the reason. If you can even use ult, if you can ultimate ray, that's just, oh, it's even more lights out. Yeah, ultimate ray. Yeah, if you get off one ultimate ray after you've used ultra creation, there's a like a zero percent chance I can win. Oh yeah, because you've just got these Too guys. Many on the board. Oh my gosh, who are taking like bonus prizes, right? Yeah. So. That and I might as well but that being that. said, like if I full blitz into your guy and you haven't even like alter creation oh, yet, yeah. oh, like that's that also really feels hard. horrible. Yeah. All right, I'll take my mulligan. Sure. And we're gonna draw for turn. Okay. Okay. So this is a perfect opening for me now. It's exactly what we wanted. Um, telling you guys, my peak around list is not as bad as as you all think it is right now. I'm ready to get sauce. <laughs> it's not as bad. I promise you guys that I put a lot of. Come work on, into Andrew's the peak around master, you guys. He, uh, he knows what he's doing. Come I on, promise. he like what? Did you top eight with it like twice promise. or something? Promise. Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess so. Um, we've got the energy on the peak around, and we've got skateboard here, um, and we just retreats, and we're gonna stellar wish again. Top five cards. Three, four, five. Got a quick ball, and this is kind of the opening that we were, you know, hoping to get on turn one. Yeah. This is why you want to go first, just for openings that look like this. Yeah, <laughs> not, right. not yeah, like zero aura. <laughs> it already so. looks better. You haven't even played your whole hand out yet. I know. <laughs> right. Yeah. All right. We're just gonna pass it to you and see if we wake up. Oh yeah. Yeah. Tails. I will. Which four? How many stamps does this deck play? Two. Interesting. How many cards are in your hand? Six. Yeah, I'm good on that. I think I'll just grab a. Hmm. Metal saucer and sure. then tag call. Or something that will draw me cards. Yes. That and let's just grab two Cynthia Caitlin. Sounds good. Just in case I don't draw anything off these three cards. Alright, and then I will 
Cynthia Caitlin. And do you have a guaranteed Star. energy in your hand already? I do have an energy. Okay, yeah. that's so, good. Yeah, I feel pretty good about that. Right, so safer than Guzman um, Holly, you're fine. Yeah. yeah. Um, I really don't think this card's very useful, so I'm just gonna discard that. Draw three. Wow. Okay. Um, attach there, and then I will bench another Jirachi, and then we'll just say pass. Sure. Let's see what we got. That's draw for turn. Okay. So I think we want to yeah, just kind of go all in this turn. Um, I can maybe Stellar Wish first and see if I find a piece. That or I'm just going to uh, Magnolia this whole hand away. Alternatively, yeah. I can... I think the Stellar Wish actually kind of informs where I'm going with this hand, yeah. so I'm going to do that first. One, two, three, four, um, and five. Okay, so we've got Electro Power and a Quick Ball. Um, I think I can just take a knockout with Zapdos. Then if you get the Altered Creation, then maybe I could Tag Ball, but I said I don't want to do that. <laughs> uh, which I just don't I don't really like doing I do need to find a switch um, which is fine uh, the issue is that I I'll take the quick ball the issue is that I do not have enough lightning in my hand to really make this all work with a Faulkner play so uh, first we're going to take a look into the deck make sure the Tapu Coco Prism's in there and I think that yes I've got two Magnolias so we're going to quick ball once take a look there is Tapu Koko in the deck, there is Thunder Mountain in the deck, and there are some Dedennies. So we could just go get ourselves Tapu Koko. And then I think I can Faulkner. I mean, I guess if I Faulkner for a switch, then I would switch into Jirachi, but then I would need to get just to find a lightning energy off right. my data change. That's like not asking a lot. No, it's not. <laughs> I mean, you gotta like, you Faulkner. gotta like put some kind of a risk into it, I think. Right. But like, I mean, what, you have like 11 lightning in there probably? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like, it's like you would think, I mean, and there's like a couple different things, like ways I can like route this to get it. Like I can, um, yeah, we're gonna get that. And then I'm going to quick ball again. So we're gonna quick ball away the Magnolia, and we're going to end up getting the Dedenne and go for it. Not that. The Dedenne. Go for it. So we need to find a Lightning. And if you miss it, then I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> then you're just not meant to win today. <laughs> it's fine. I'll take the Frost Moth series. Take the Frost Moth. <laughs> I'll take the Filthy Frost Moth. Oh my god. The Filthy Frost Moth's the only deck that loves me right now. <laughs> Alright, we're going to grab Dedenne. And then we are going to switch into this Jirachi. And we're going to double custom catcher your ADP, mm. play Electro Power, and Data Change for six. Looking for an energy. We found them like a bunch. Okay. Oh, see, you're One, good. two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So this is fine. We're going to attach return to, well, the Stellar Wish first. Yeah. All right. Stellar Wish here. Three. You might get another way to discard it. Five. Yep, I did. Yep, nice. So we're gonna go there and get ourselves probably oh, right to it too. Yeah, wow. right to right That's really good. Yep. And now our list is looking Yeah, that's okay. very strong. Wow. Yep. So we've got Tapu Coco sending itself to the Lost Zone. Dance of the Ancients, energy there, attach for turn. And full blitz for 180. Wow. I'm going to accelerate the energy to my Raichu and I'll one Raichu. Okay. Yep. Okay. You're up. Yep. I see no reason not to play the shrine down. Seems and good. Then I will. I should probably not have grabbed that saucer off my Stellar Wish because then I top decked another saucer. Now I have all three saucer in my hand. 
I don't really like that. But, right. Um, I think I'm going to. I'm actually going to sit with Caitlyn and discard the metal in my hand to draw. To put um, the other Cynthia Caitlin. Oh, you can't put Cynthia Caitlin in your hand. No Cynthia Caitlin. Right. Yeah, right. Okay, so not put anything in my hand. I just want to draw three. One, two, three. All right, that's pretty good. Uh, play the Zacian down. Um, I'm actually going to go, since I have all these saucers in my hand, I actually didn't check to see what the Denny's prize, but hopefully it's not. I'm going to quick ball the only other metal in my hand. Sure. Just because I feel like I need to go for a little bit more of a turbo play here since I'm running a little behind. And I have, so I'm going to play both the saucers on my Zacian. And then hopefully get another metal or an Aurora energy off this data change. Right. Now there are 10 metal in the deck, so that's a decent amount. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think there's a good chance I get For it. For sure. So. And you already use Cynthia and Caitlin as your supporter? Correct. Yep. Um, two metal saucers. Um... I do have a switch, but I don't see a reason to play that, so I'm going to data change. Sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we're good. So we will throw a frying pan here. Yep. And that is the strongest aspect of this here. ADP deck is that, right. as you saw, like this is why I need to get, I absolutely need to full blitz before you alter creation. So now, once you get the you know the Zacian powered up, I am ready to take three prizes. Right, right. I need to be ready to take this knockout. If you are able to GX and I don't have a right you right you ready to go, then this game is a wash. Right, right. Yeah. So I will that draw. And I think here that let's see, I don't have like a real easy retreat. How many cards are in your hand? I have four. Four. So, my hand is definitely a little bit jammed. Uh, I don't have a lot. We've got two escape boards for both of our very nice, handsome Jirachis. <laughs> it's good. Um, I could go digging, I guess, like stamp you to an obnoxious number that I don't want to. Um, but I think I would rather save the stamp for after the Pikaram goes down. So I'm thinking that we probably just allow the peak rom to go down and then um, we attempt to write you in a little and write you your Zacian, uh for knockouts and I think in order to force you to knock out the peak rom, I need to full blitz to myself so we're just going to take that full blitz knockout okay. um, put all the shrines on and by full blitzing to myself uh, I give myself a really nice win condition, even if you gust up and knock out my Raichu. Right. Um, because I can tag bolt both your Zacian and your Dedenne for game. So we're going to go sense. there, leaving myself with just one energy left in deck, but it's cool. I also got a Thunder Mountain. Uh, I think we actually are going to just place two here, so leave two energy in my deck. Because I am anticipating that this thing just bites the dust. So. Right. Yeah. But we do just want to give me, give myself that's potential win condition for sure. So I'll draw. Attach, return. Yep. Bench this guy. Hmm. Let's see here. And then my thought is that um, it's actually going to be easier. For me to win the game with the Pikaram. So he has to knock out the Pikaram and has to save me with Raichu and Alolan Raichu here. Um, Let's see here. Not necessarily. I'm thinking easy. I and might just try to catch her up this Raichu and knock that out instead. Right. They're both because, like, both win cons are like pretty easy. Yeah, you know? because like, I don't think I'm going to be able to charge up another guy because right. I only have one saucer left in my deck. For sure. Even if I draw it. Yep. So that's assuming I even put So you have to this. go for it, right? Yeah. Tails? Yeah. Okay. And then I'll uh, Magnolia. Sure. Right, so now it's like, he doesn't get me the instant win. I will but say. By, by shutting down the, um, the Zash in here. Let's try again. Ooh. There we go. There we Coming go. Up right you. Woo! Oh boy. And then I'll slap a frying pan there. Oh, yikes. 
Little spinning. Broken Pokemon catcher. Oh yeah. And now I'm very glad that I did accelerate onto my Pikaram here. And then I will go ahead and Brave Blade for the knockout. For exact math. Okay. Well, actually, not exact because it adds that. Yep. So 240 damage plus the 20 from Shrine. Yep. Yeah, we're going to make sure that all of our other guys take the Shrine. So the Shrine being very relevant there as far as the math is concerned for the Raichu and all the Raichu. I take four prizes. Yep, which is one of the reasons that you play it. All right, so I will draw my three that I get and my one for turn. So looking at this hand, uh, I do need to hit a couple of E powers. Two would do it. Yep. Two E powers would be game. That or, yeah. yeah, that's that or double custom catcher up that did any or great catcher up that did any. Um, so actually, uh, we might just oh, be yeah. able to win with the Volcar. Yeah, so we're gonna Stellar Wish two, three, four, five. Um, Thunder Mountain also get us there. Yeah, give me that Thunder Mountain. I like that card. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm scarred. Yeah. Oh no, horrible card. <laughs> Andrew, just play Guzmahala. <laughs> Please, Andrew, stop <laughs> playing Stadium now. No. No. All right. Uh, I, think you're to... I think you're like five for six on Tails with that. I am like very <laughs> not good, yeah, on those. So I think uh, we're going to Radar. Pretty sure the win is just in deck. Um, oh. That was silly of me to do. No, no, it's not silly of me to do. No, 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 we're good. Because okay. we're just, I needed a Radar to check my deck to make sure win was in the deck, and it is. So. Okay. We've got those two, and then I can just Volkner for the Great Catcher and the Lightning. Okay. And, and then Great Catcher up top. Great Catcher. Lightning, three prizes. Yeah, Lightning here. Great Catcher away those. And then we're going to bring up the Dedenny. Yes. And then Tag Bolts, the Dedenny, and a Jirachi. Yeah. Yeah. And that's nice. Game. Wow, that's really strong. Yeah. And thank you so much, Thomas, for the uh, gifted sub there. But yeah, I mean, we saw that's like the other side. Yeah, I told right. you it, the matchup usually feels very. If it goes how it's supposed to, you probably should always win that. But um, obviously, it doesn't always go that way. So I mean, probably... so like theoretically, like theoretically, theoretically yeah. if I go first to get the turn two full blitz, I should win every game. Sure. Theoretically, if you go first to get the turn two ultra creation, and I don't get the turn one full blitz, you should win every one of those games. Yeah. So like, both uh, you know both decks have this like theoretical path to victory. But then you introduce the variants of the Pokemon trading card game, oh, yeah. and then Stamp. like anything happens, yeah, right? Yeah. Uh, weird stuff, you know, weird hands, and then uh, that's what makes it exciting. So yeah, definitely. Uh, I think this matchup it feels close. It does, yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah, um, this deck definitely seems really strong. Yeah. It is. It's I mean, like, being able to just nuke things for 260 damage, yeah. uh, it's so powerful. Just uh, having a way to charge a Pokemon up. I mean, that's the thing that ADP. That's like it was his biggest weakness, was like it didn't have a way to charge any energy. So like you were just kind of hoping even after you alter creation that you right. weren't getting, your ADP wasn't getting knocked out, which is kind of asking a lot. But For sure. Obviously the games that, that it didn't get knocked out, you usually win those games. So Absolutely. Yeah. So that's going to be it for the stream today. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Tune in. We're going to be back with the Fulgur Games League Tournament tomorrow. Jesse, you going to be there? I think so. 